my pleasure to welcome you here tonight. Uh, I'd like to welcome both the audience members and our candidates who are willing to give their time to serve the electorate. Uh, one of the things that I assume all of you know is that the League of Women Voters works to ensure an educated and active citizenry. And that's why we're holding this forum tonight. That's why we hold candidates' forums, so that you, the electorate, can hear the candidates. Our thanks go out to Dawn Clark, who is our moderator, who comes from Springfield. Mrs. Clark. See if I can get this straight here. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, we do want to thank you for coming because you are now helping the League to carry out its mission to inform the public, and this is important to all of us. Um, and it's important also that we give uh, a forum to our candidates who are uh, willing to come and present their case to you so that you can make an informed decision when you go to vote on November 3rd. So, um, I would like to go over the format for this evening's um, um, agenda, and I will introduce the candidates to you. Um, we're having this forum for the District 38 uh, Legislative Assembly, and uh, the candidates who are here this evening um, are on my far left, um, Timothy Eustis, and next to Mr. Eustis uh, is Joseph Lagana, and next to Mr. Lagana is Anthony Coppola. Um, yeah. Okay, so, you know, look, I'm going to get right to it. It's just 800 pounds a little bit in the room. Okay, um, as many of you know, um, you know, in my 20s, okay, um, as a young startup comedian, I wrote a raunchy, insensitive, uh, often uh, hurtful, uh, satirical book. And I say comedian, not to try to give me a pass. I'm an entertainment company. I am a comedian now, and I was then. But I chose to write that book, and I take full responsibility for it. Um, I offended a lot of people. Um, I, my own mother was offended uh, because of some of the stuff I said. So, uh, what you're not going to hear though is that I don't hate Asians, I don't hate gay people. I'm married to a Korean woman, I have a Korean son. I employ two gay people on my staff. Uh, I've been a Bergen County Big Brother, I think it's a program for Latino teenagers in my, in my 20s. So, I'm not really being uh, portrayed in the spirit of the media. And uh, you're going to see that tonight. We're going to get into that. And I'm very proud of who I am. And I've never been that person, never been anti Semitic or anti uh, you know, gay or anything like that. Never been, and I am not now, and uh, that's why I want to start off. And I want to thank you for listening to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you to the League of Women Voters and to Paramus High School for hosting us here. I want to say, for the last four years, it's been an honor and privilege to serve the citizens of District 38. Before that, I served as the mayor of our small town of Baywood and was a councilman uh, for ten years before that. I'm a private practice chiropractor. I've owned my own small business for the last thirty years. I like the idea that our legislature is a citizen legislature where you go to work every day and you're able to help people in your part-time job in the legislature. As something in Lagana and I have worked hard to make sure that we bring jobs and businesses back to our district, that's a proven fact. We don't talk about things, we actually do them. Our district needed flood relief. We provided bills that provide flood relief, flood relief to our district. We needed jobs, we needed flood relief, we needed work on how the state's budget works and to make sure that our pension responsibilities were paid. That things are not paid and the things that escalated lies in the fact that we have a governor that has a line item veto and total control over the budget. So responsibility lies in the people that constantly are sent to Trenton to agree with what the governor does. We stand in his way and promise to do that if re-elected. Thank you. Uh, I would like to thank the uh, legal women voters for hosting this event tonight. Um, what I ask for voters to consider when they do consider who they can vote for, is uh, the experience and accomplishments when dealing with a particular candidate. I ran for public office first as a councilman, Paramus, and then as a state assemblyman because I wanted to make a positive difference in people's lives. I worry about my children and someday their children, that they will be able to have every opportunity to succeed 
and not be saddled with problems that were created by us and the people who came before us. I worry about our seniors, their ability to stay in our homes and live comfortably throughout their lives. During my first term, I focused on such things like job creation, as the assemblyman used to say, school funding, reduction in the estate and inheritance tax, consumer protections, added network uh, costs, veterans affairs, domestic violence laws, park testing, and gun control, among other things. I've also spent countless hours speaking with constituents, listening to their problems and concerns, and taking the time to help any way that I could. Needless to say, I've shown that I'm not afraid to take on the tough issues, that I'm fiscally responsible, and that I care deeply about the people that I represent, and making all of their lives better. I ask for your vote so I can continue to do good works in our community as your representative.